Uh, I saw some additional article here that um, this stuff was used during MK Ultra by Vivek again. He mentioned with the Joe Biden in coordinates with Joe Biden, uh, he got employed, re-employed back in office. He got again in. Mm, not really. He should be working up to date, up to date. 2000 service, uh, 2021, again up to date. Yeah, 2014, 2017, and then you have 2021 to present. So he is working, in, but this doesn't matter. What matters is this here, uh, that he would issue me, according to him, that he did apologize for and this and that and so on with the Joe Biden. It was the stuff like this. Uh, I just need to find uh, opinion, opinion. Different under MK Ultra. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I hope I remember this the next time I encounter someone with a different point of view. I did not go read this article at all. I don't do this stuff. I don't have time for that stuff. The point here is that he stated to me that in the article he would it would be included uh, this kind of stuff to alert me to that he is sorry that he doesn't mean and so on and so forth. Well, you know, fuck your sorry. You know, your sorrow mean to me shit. Basically, let me explain something. Um, And there will be a picture like this and this and that, that, uh, you know, that does not mean any harm and this and that. And, um, you know, um, let me explain some, let me, let me explain something to you. I lost one day. I, I was really two days, actually. I, I was really miserable when I read that news. And it's clearly the news is insti instigating in something completely different. It can be seen here. I already earlier demonstrated that if you if you enter loneliness, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you know that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, uh, where the hell is it? I don't know if you remember. If, if they connect that stuff to a schizophrenia, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, mental illness, and so on. You know. Um, I I, uh, I don't give a three fuck about really about your apology and about your views, how you feel and so on. You know, if you didn't want problems, just the only thing you really, really needed to do, you shouldn't be looking for them. This is not my problem. You, uh, you literally pursued a problem. You literally went on to cause a problem with this kind of issue. You, you're literally, literally looking for a conflict. You brainwashed, you tortured for several years on this topic here about this kind of stuff. And I, I, I'm not the person that swallows shit from anybody. I don't give a three fuck about who you're married with, where do you work at, and who you, you know, about your relationship with the Joe Biden, with Obama, and so on, and stuff like this. I don't give a three fuck even about my history, what this country have done to me. Actually, I'm American citizen since 2000. It was United States of America that pressed against me domestic violation and terrorism inside of my own house here in the city of the Nova Mesta in Slovenia, which is not part of United States of America. This is not officially yet a colony that I would know of and that the U.S. government has the right to conduct in a terrorism against own citizens. I'm a naturalized citizen of U.S. also. So, you know something, you know what I feel about this, Vivek, and I'm going to say the same thing to, to your beautiful wife, I'm going to say. I'm going to say to you, like, guys, um, no. you, you, you are, um, you are criminals that <clears throat> police reports about every fucking day. You are a hit and run people. You're the people that run the car on the road and under cover of diplomat, under cover of your 
origin in the United States of America and now. If you did this shit in China or in India, they would fucking throw you inside of the jail where you would rot for the rest of your life with the rest of the criminals inside. But because you're in the United States of America and under cover of United Nations and under cover of United States of America, under the President Joe Biden you serve, you feel you can just go and you can ram people out of pure, pure pleasure, out of pure joy and say, how, <laughs> you know, boom, you know, you look at in the mirror and you see somebody over there leaving him behind crippled and you just proceed and say, fuck you. There is nothing you can do to me because I work for the UN. You know, I'm a citizen of the US, I'm a diplomat, I work for the President Biden and <laughs> you know. You know what I think about you? I already explained exactly what I think about you. Your apology means to me nothing. That's why this video is going to go up. I was thinking about what to do with this video, actually, for many reasons, because the Indian lady, on the other hand, you see the Indian lady that was inside in here, however, she didn't warn me about this stuff. Don't see yourself in the loneliness and so on. If you will see yourself in the loneliness, she told me, then you're going to have a problem, because once you see yourself in the loneliness, then they see you as mentally ill. If you're going to be publishing stuff about the loneliness and so on, da 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 da. Now I'm going to take that away from Mahatma Gandhi because I don't want to uh, cause uh, harm to the people that are, um, you know, connected to, you know, spiritually, whatever, freedom-wise. Uh, you know, I I don't have any kind of uh, really. I don't I don't profit. You know from from <laughs> what is it to me, Mahatma Gandhi, you know, let him be, you know, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, but it's good to use the stuff like this so that, you know, you wake the fuck up out of your, I don't know, you're fucking daydreaming over there, you're hypnotized or what the fuck is it? I mean, you're pulling the world into a vertigo, into a direction that there is no, there is no fucking exit out of it. You definitely assisted in causing me a lot of trouble. You know, in 2012, this issue, this issue started in 2012. Uh, and, uh, you know, in 2013, I was thrown in, into the psychiatric hospital. And, uh, you know, you didn't give a three fuck about me. The only thing you did was you loaded more, you loaded more till these big owners of yours, these politicians, um, saw a different way and so on. And, uh, you know, psychiatrists, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch stated me, he has a license to kill. That's a license from a psychiatrist. It's a license to kill. All this Potent people, prepotent people, politicians, these Illuminatis were sure that every one of them can, you know, they saw them and how much harm they can cause to people, how much injury they can cause to people, how much they can, uh, you know, the arrogance, the, uh, the total uh, disregard for the value of life, uh, regardless of. Uh, what can I tell you? This shit is 52 years. This is not about uh, Prince Charles or Prince Philip. This is about a lot of other figures, a lot of, a lot of other politicians that were involved in it. And uh, a complete, complete disregard for existence of the human being is what the fuck this is. And yeah, I hope I did pointed out what exactly I feel about you, how you do your stuff. And, uh, you know, then you, you press, you push forward and you launch the article out and you still launch the article out and for which you hope that I would not take personally and stuff like this. You know, this is disgusting, actually. This is disgusting. This is disgusting.
I, I hope at the United Nations they're gonna fucking kick your ass. Out of United Nations, motherfucker. I hope they fucking sit you at the office and they ask you questions, sir. Do you know this guy? Have you participated in MK Ultra at this guy's residence? Have you ever visited his home? Do you know him? If he ever met you and your wife and your family and your father and your mother, I hope they fucking ask you these questions on a fucking realistic site, you motherfucker. <laughs>